to you by our friends of the British Council. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Rugby Wrap-Up. Matt McCarthy at the Fantasy Sports Network, Studio 34 here in New York City. And we have another AFIA training group session chat. And this time it's about the America's Rugby Championship. And for that segment and for the expertise from north of the border and America's Rugby News from Halifax, Canada, Mr. Brian Ray. Hello, Brian. Hello, Matt. Thanks for having me again. And we, Brian, I don't know if you can see in the studio, we have uh, we have a legend of the uh, Guardian USA, Mr. Martin Pengelly. Martin, I welcome. I do, I do. Uh, well welcome. acquainted with us. Yeah, I think I'm a leg- if I'm a legend of the Guardian US, I'm not a legend outside it. So. And, and although he's not here and he's not on the monitor just yet, but we have Steve Lewis struggling to communicate with us from the Pig and Whistle, our favorite pub in New York City. Steve. Hey, everybody. Okay, there he is. I don't know if you're going to be able to communicate with Brian, so I'll relay it to that. Martin can watch. Why don't you just go ahead and give us your thoughts on what's going on in the ARC's, the America's Rugby Championship. Yep, round four, uh, the penultimate round, everything went to plan. So um, Argentina beating Canada 40-15 in Argentina. Uh, Uruguay thumping Chile in Chile, uh, 67-15. And then Eagles going 4-0 with a a solid win against Brazil, uh, 45-16. Didn't set the heather alight necessarily, but did enough. Different periods of the game to come away with a strong win away from home. And that was a banana skin they, they tripped up on incidentally previously. So. 4 and 0 and looking forward to next week. As you know, I lost a toonie and a maple glazed donut to Mr. Brian Ray uh, because I picked Canada whereas he didn't pick his own countryman. He picked Argentine 15. Do you have that uh, toonie and that maple glaze there Brian to gloat with? Matt is a man of his word, <laughs> shiny toonie, maple glazed donut. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, yeah, there you saw it ladies and gentlemen and Truth be known, I owe him a pint in his next visit to the Pig and Whistle in New York City. All right, so, Steve, I'm losing bets because I'm picking Canada. What the H-E double hockey sticks is going on with Canada? I think you touched on it last week with Brian, and um, obviously the issue's up there right now. Um, They've got to fight their way through it. They got that that win against Chile. It's a little bit of a setback again. The seventh team's going okay, competing well. There's players up there. It's just one of those... um, troughs you know countries go through peaks and troughs this is certainly a trough for the canadians uh hopefully they'll you know address it and uh you know we need canadian rugby to be strong we americans american rugby needs canadian rugby to be strong so we we not too strong but strong all right fair enough but brian what happened again yeah, well, you know, Argentina is just a step up in competition at the moment. Canada just doesn't have uh, the bodies, the depth. Without our professional players overseas, it's just we can't compete uh, with those guys at the moment. Um, you know, this week will be a bit better. Although, you know, Canada will be in, in camp for the best part of two months now, a lot of the guys with the uh, the World Cup qualifiers. So uh, they'll be tired bodies, but I think we'll be good enough to get past uh Chile, but you know it's just something we're just we're just going to have to build. Uh, we talked about it last week, building the pathway and filling a couple key rugby positions uh, within the program. So we'll, we'll get it. We'll turn it around. I'm confident we will. It'll start this week with a win over Chile. All right, and hold the thought on on pathway there because we do have some breaking news that we read on America's rugby news. But we'll get right back to that. Martin, you want to chime in here? Well, I, I think from my perspective of what I cover, um, it's interesting how well the USA are doing. I mean, they put Brazil away. You'd expect them to put Brazil away these days after the, the uh, upset a couple of years ago. They're you know they're four they're four and They should be they should finish unbeaten. Gary Gold's in doing good work, hearing good things. It's it's for the Eagles. This is um, promising. Yeah, very promising. I agree. All right, uh, let's get to predictions and let's get to Mr. Lewis first because then we can get rid of him and don't have to deal with this. Stephen, predictions my prediction i'm 12 from 12 for the america's rugby championship uh i think the u.s are going to put together a complete performance i think they will beat uruguay in uruguay argentina will beat brazil and canada will beat chile i agree with you brian ray from halifax canada well as i said we'll go canada over chile we'll go argentina over brazil and the usa to wrap up the arc uh, title over Uruguay, and hey, I think we'll have a 
a fun weekend in Las Vegas Sevens too. And look for the yes. Eagles to do something there as well. Is this a ploy on the part of Mr. Ray to to give us some false hope here as the United States for a back to back championship thing? No. No. All right. So you're <laughs> emphatic. You're emphatic with that. Well, I'm not, I'm not emphatic. I think Uruguay, Uruguay are improving, impressive team. But so are the Eagles. I think the Eagles have, have got it. They, they just destroyed. They, they completely ran rampant this past weekend, Uruguay. So I'm, I'm, squ- I'm scared. I'm a scared. I'm a scared, Brian. And, and the Americans are on the road. Where's, where's your overweening American arrogance? Where's it gone? <laughs> Come on, it's, it's, it's in your it's in your genes. I just got I just had you saw him show the to, show the toonie and the maple glazed again, please. <laughs> this is where Look it at went. That. Look this, at that. That's a Tim Look Hortons that. maple glazed and a toonie. That's where my confidence Shiny. went. You know, I don't know what either of those things is. Yeah. All right. Now hold on. I just want to hear your Chile Canada pick again. Uh, I'm picking Canada in this one. Last weekend went uh, as predicted, or at least as I predicted. To, sorry about that, Matt. Um, <laughs> You know, uh, I'm surrounded Argentina. by guys that are three and zero here with him with the with the Six Nations, you with the ARCs. But I'll take two and three every day of the week. <laughs> that's, that's not a bad ratio. You gonna go against me? <laughs> no, I'm going with Canada. Go ahead, Martin. Uh, as I, I, I would say, um, Argentina over Brazil, Canada over Chile, and USA over Uruguay. I think we're all. Are we unanimous? Could be. Ooh, that I might have to pick somebody else to break the tie next week. No, I'm, I'm going to stick with it. I'm going to stick with it. I'm going with America. America, United States of America is going to beat Uruguay 4-2, uh, uh, to two, oddly enough. Canada will beat Chile by two goals in the, in the late in the third period. And I got Argentina knocking the snot out of Brazil by 35 points. And those, obviously, the first two scores are not accurate. I'm going to go with uh, Canada beating Chile by 15 in a closer than comfortable match. And uh, USA-Uruguay, I got like a seven-point differential in that one. Go Eagles. Go Eagles indeed. Go Eagles indeed. All right, guys, getting back to what Steve said earlier, Canadian rugby is important to American rugby, guys. Of course. As you know, and we want the Canadians to be strong. We want you guys to be successful. And we can segue now into what I wanted to talk about was this uh, blossoming MLR extension in South America, you know, which I read about first in America's Rugby News. You want to tell us what you, what you know there, Brian? Imagine that. So, well, Paul Tate, of course, our South American editor, is the, uh, the guru in that one. But... Uh, so what we're looking at, this has been in the works for a while. We had little trickles of information about uh, Brazil and, and Uruguay setting up their own kind of little professional teams. But really the idea is eight teams across South America with the, the four ARC, uh, Chile, Brazil, Uruguay, Argentina involved. Um, short term it'll be, or at least when it gets started up here, they're, they're hoping for 2019. I think that's going to be ambitious. It might be 2020. We'll see, but it's on the way for sure. Um, so... We'll be looking at, you know, three or four Argentina sides, I think. And then uh, Uruguay, Chile, and Brazil will fill that in. Probably, I would guess two teams in, in Brazil just because of the size of it. And uh, long term, they'll be looking to join up with that uh, Major League Rugby competition. I think short term, it'll be more like internal competition and maybe a final, South America, North America final. But uh, long term, they'll definitely want to integrate it a little bit more. And it's obviously very exciting for uh, rugby in the Americas. Have those have those uh, initial first matches of each season in the Southern Hemisphere rather than up in in Manitoba or Thunder Bay, eh? <laughs> I can't imagine rugby in Thunder Bay. <laughs> uh, you haven't lived. You haven't lived, Martin. What do you think about the whole uh, shebang? I think the whole shebang is exciting, and um, well, uh, one thing I've learned in writing about rugby in the Americas for five years is to counsel caution. Mm. Counsel Think, caution. Things will, you know, uh, not map out as you want them to. Um, I regard myself as an expert on Brazilian rugby because I went there for three days on a rugby trip two years ago. Um, three days, six nights. No, three days and no, <laughs> three days and no nights. I barely slept. Uh, they're passionate and tiny rugby community. Rugby yeah. community there, yeah. relatively speaking, tiny in a big country, tiny in a world sense. Is Council Caution uh, one of the villains that was against Roger Moore's James Bond? Uh, yes. All right. On that note, <laughs> let's wind up our AFIA Sports Training Group session chat with Mr. Brian Ray and Mr. Martin Pingelli and Mr. Steve Lewis 
I'm Matt McCarthy. On behalf of all these fine gentlemen here at Rugby Wrap-Up, the Studio 34 Fantasy Sports Network here in New York City, signing off. <laughs>